Hey guys, what's up? Kibbs here from Two Brothers Minecraft, and I'm here with another Minecraft Redstone video. Now, before I actually start off this video, I'm going to give you a long, boring lecture. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna... I have to say some things. I know I haven't uploaded a video for like, like a month now, and... Uh, I think we all know what I'm gonna blame it on, being busy, um... Although there were a couple days where I was just completely laid back, had nothing to do. I was like, hey, why don't I record a video today? And I eventually just kind of forgot. <laughs> so guys, don't think I hate you or anything. I, I still love all my subscribers. I'm not like, I'm not going to just reject you guys. I'm still going to upload videos. Okay, I'm not dead. But, and that comes up to this other issue. Our channel is called Two Brothers Minecraft. And a lot of you guys have been asking Where's Joshua One? I've done a couple videos earlier with him, and I just haven't done a lot of videos with him uh, lately. Now the problem is, I w I've I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to do my redstone videos with him, and the only type of videos I can actually do with him are videos on servers. And the reason with the redstone thing is that my computer, for some reason, it cannot host servers. Now I build all of my redstone creations on on my the worlds on my computer. And if I wanted to host a server, I would have to rebuild them all onto that server. So in, in the future, in the future, I will try to do videos with Joshua One on the server. Now the problem is, I've built all my creations on this on this world recently, and I end up just forgetting that I should build them on the server so that we can record together. Um, so we'll try to clarify, we'll cl clear that up. If you don't understand what I'm saying, basically, I'll try and do videos with Joshua One in the future. Um, and if not, we will definitely do some Let's Play server Redstoners play, which we haven't, like, done for, like, a year. Um, <laughs> we'll do another one of those together soon, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, one last thing. Uh, happy Easter, guys! This video should be uploaded on Easter, at least the time I'm recording it. It is Easter, and I have just shoved my face full of jelly beans. Um, so, yeah. Now, over with that. So oh, sorry for that long, um introduction to this video let me actually show you the redstone invention so as you saw in the wow. intro basically when i hold the shift key i pick up mobs and i can carry them wherever and then when uh -huh. i let go they'll just fall to the ground um and you can't jump when you're carrying these mobs uh. kind of weird if you could but because they're so heavy you can pick up uh. any mob except for players of course so let's just pick up a zombie <laughs> Oh, you can pick up, oh, like I said, you can even pick up entities such as minecarts, so let's get a minecart. I forgot that if you search mine in the creative inventory, it pulls up all the blocks because they have minecraft colon. You see, minecraft colon activated the rail and stuff. So, yeah, we can pick up the minecart. Yay! The weird thing is, when you let go of the minecart, it still rests on your head until you walk away. So, I did not know you could actually literally carry minecarts on your head. <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a pretty dang simple invention. Um, it's pretty fun to use though. I mean, it'd be useful for adventure slash puzzle maps, where you would have to run around, carry mobs, put them down. So yeah, let's get on to the redstone. Surprisingly, the redstone is quite okay. I'm I bet I need to stop saying that. It's like my catchphrase or something now. For some reason, these clocks always generate cl uh lagging. 1.8. But anyways, here's what, how the redstone works. So basically, we have one main command, and as you might have seen in my Trivention video, which, by the way, was um, a little inspired by Maz in your face. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, or Mace or Maz. I don't know. Uh, tri Trifecta. He has a cool series going on in his channel. I just thought I would try something because I had three inventions laying around, etc. Uh, but anyways, it has the scoreboard objectives. Shift, which is stat crouch one centimeter. Shift. To learn more about this objective, just go to the video um that was uh trivention uh, i'll put a link to it in the description of this video and if not make sure to remind me in the comments because i'm really bad at doing stuff like that but anyways basically what it's doing is it's testing for the nearest player with a score of shift minimum equals one and the nearest put and uh uh sets the scoreboard of the player to zero rapidly so basically whenever i'm holding the shift key and moving if the clock is act if i activated the clock this comparator would turn on 
Now, this comparator starts this clock. I showed an in-depth, uh, detailed way to build this in my, um, Trivention video, of course, which I keep referencing. Um, of course, then it basically just stops the clock here when the torch turns off when I stop holding shift key, sets the blocks, uh, right here to air, and kills the items in this clock. And this part, I'll get to that later. So basically what's happening is it is filling, it is executing at me two blocks above the basically, so basically one block above my head, filling the block above my head to a barrier, replacing only air. Then, this clock is rapidly executing, of course, at my above my head, filling all the barriers to air. So basically, there's just a barrier that's there, and whenever I move, whenever I move, it um, disappears. Uh, the barriers that would that it would normally generate. So say, say I guess you guys already understand, but say this uh, this item is me. So say I moved, say this is where I started, and I moved this way. Then the barriers would stay there, and wherever I moved, barriers would stay above my head. Now this clock is just basically clearing all the barriers, so there's only one barrier above my head wherever I move. That was kind of a weird example, but whatever. Um, so basically, you you understand how it works, and this is basically giving uh executing me, giving the effect of all the mob the mobs that I pick up. Slowness true, of course, so you don't see the particles. And this is how it actually picks up the mob and keeps them on my head. Basically, what it's doing is executing at me, of course, and executing at the entity that I want to pick up, teleporting them to me. Then this one is teleporting that same entity three blocks into the air. So basically, it's teleporting them to me and then teleporting them up. But it's so fast that it just looks like they're resting on my head. Then, of course, I showed you that when the clock turns off, this happens. This basically just replaces the barrier that would be left behind because I'm not moving. It only activates when I'm moving. Um, it just replaces that to air. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty much how it works. Um, I'll give you another little demonstration with a slime because slime is cool. It's slimy, slimy. It's come back. It's slimy, slimy, slimy. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn on the clock. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much how this invention works. Um, the redstone's pretty simple. Make sure to check out the trivention video, which I will link to in the description on how to do the uh test for pl crouching players, of course. And, yeah. What was that? It's like, when I jumped, it turned me into first-person mode. But whatever. <laughs> this has been Kibbs from Two Brothers Minecraft, and I'll see you guys later.